Mm, enjoyment. Anthony, do you enjoy the bagpipes? Well, McLaughlin is a Scottish name, so it's in my blood. Well, so does the subject of our next story, retired Captain Jermaine Downey. He's an accomplished bagpiper who's traveled all across the world. He's been a soloist at the Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo. And he currently plays in the award-winning 400 Tactical Helicopter Squadron Pipe Band out of Canadian Forces Base Borden. Jermaine's enthusiasm for the pipes has inspired him to start a pipe and drum band in his hometown of North Preston, Nova Scotia, Canada's oldest and largest Indigenous black community. Halifax's Laura Bain has the story. I always loved it because of the skirl. The skirl and the sound of it. It was always an intriguing instrument to me. In the drama room of his old school, Coal Harbor District High, Jermaine Downey sneaks in a bit of practice. The kilt he's wearing today is significant. The red maple leaf tartan of Canada. When I saw pipe bands as a young kid, I, I wanted to be in a pipe band. I wanted to be a piper. Around the age of 12, Jermaine joined cadets and their pipe and drums program. Cole Harbor District High School principal and longtime friend Kenneth Fells remembers the young piper. Fascinating to see this young black man playing the pipes. So I was enamored by that because uh, we don't often have uh, students of African ancestry playing the pipes. Even though the history of pipes uh, actually comes out of West Africa. Geez, good to see you. I remember the first time I saw you, you was uh, a young cadet with 2501. I'm very proud of him. You know, there's a lot of trials and tribulations, particularly with the uh, amount of discrimination and racism that actually exists at that time too, right? And it was quite phenomenal to see uh, a young black man trying to uh, do something in Nova Scotia, New Scotland, playing the pipes. Bagpipes have had a profound effect on Jermaine's life. Without bagpipes, I don't think you'd be staying here talking to Jermaine Downey. He wouldn't be here. During his military career, he developed an eating disorder. I'm bulimic nervosa, and I had been bulimic nervosa for over 30 some odd years. In 2014, Jermaine had a severe relapse and almost died. I was in the hospital for about six months, and the only thing that really saved me was my bagpipes and thinking about getting back on the instrument because it grounds me. After nearly dying, Jermaine reevaluated his life and was inspired to give back to his hometown of North Preston. He started a pipe and drum band and recruited two friends from the piping community to help him teach. This week, four preteen girls have shown up to class. I'll take Katie. And I'm gonna take these two, okay? Cool. I would describe my community of North Preston as a community full of history, full of heritage, a community that has been isolated and that has been put in a place of disenfranchisement. And with that being said, it comes with socio-economic challenges. At the same time, we have a lot of successful people there that work very hard towards change. The students learn on practice cantors, read instruments that resemble a recorder. Kaylea Saunders is a keen piping student. It's fun so far. I'm working on my scale. Kaylee's instructor, Kate Kimov, shares Jermaine's vision. The aim of this is to start a band. It's something he's very passionate about, as am I, and it's something that he'd really want to pass on to other people. Here's what I'm gonna get you to work on, and you're gonna practice this diligently. Watch. Jermaine ends the class with a leadership lesson. If you could change one thing in your community, wherever you come from, okay? What is the one thing you would change in your community? I would change violence. That's not what we want, is it? The one thing I would do to change the community? I feel like I'm doing it. It's not much, but I honestly feel like I play bagpipes and I'm here to try to make a difference with this instrument. And I am optimistic, I am hopeful that this instrument will make that journey smooth for you. 
Jermaine's passion for the bagpipes and his desire to develop young leaders through music is so commendable. And it is a wonderful example of the power of music and the ways it can bring people together. His parents have always been, well, supportive, but he wasn't allowed to play the pipes inside the house for very long. <laughs> That's understandable. Jermaine also says that he gets called Mr. Scotland and Kilt Man when he wears his tartan in the community. Dave, have you ever worn a kilt? Okay, not to the best of my knowledge, although I imagine it's a pretty good replacement for air conditioning in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Anthony? Uh, I have, but that is a really, really long story. Oh, come on, man. We got all day. Let's, let's hear it. Uh, we don't have that much time.